Hello guys, okay, so I said last time that we were going to be doing a lesson on how to use CF Query. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we just want to open up a document. Um, there's nothing much here. I'll explain to you what this is. Okay, what this is, is we are setting a few variables here. We have a data source name, which we reference in here, and I'll explain this in a few moments. Um, we have a username. This username goes to your database, what you would use to log into your database. And of course, we would have a password. This would be the password that goes with this username. Okay. So that's fine. So let's look at the query, actual CF query tag. This CF query tag um, is just really needs two attributes. The two attributes that it needs is data source and name. Those are only only two. However, you will have to run your website on Sandbox security. And we want to add a little bit more security so we will put in the username and if you remember how to output variables it's just you output the username from this variable here as well as password okay and then you have a query within the save query tags this query is whatever it is that you wish to query it could be select all from content where one for example um, that would pull all the records from the database okay and then we say see if output query equals test query and then we say we well, want output content ID now content ID is not set but it is in the database this is our field and it makes it shorter by using query if I didn't use query in the tag I would have to have it similar to this test query dot content ID now I can still have it like that with this here it just makes it easier that way you would only have to have uh, smaller amounts of code okay and that's it let's see if it works let's file and save really quick and then let's test it out. This is the database. I was going to show you guys that, but I decided not to. Um, let's see, this is here. Let's go to lessons. Uh, I should open it up, I'm sorry. And we'll open up save query. And then, uh, this is the results that I get. It's not too big. Uh, let's let's change that a little bit. That's not too good of a result. Um, let's wrap this in a paragraph tag and change the results. Content ID is just not doing. Um, let's say full text content. Full text. Let's say file save. We come down here and then if we refresh. We get a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, don't, just don't worry about what this is. It's just restaurants so. in my area. Okay, it's actually something I'm working on. All right, so let's review really quick. Okay, so remember the only things that you need is the data source, the name of the query, the username. Set that from this, from the variables up here, from the password. I mean, you don't have to set as variables, but once you start creating your application, not CFC, which I will cover next lesson, that will be our next lesson, um, is the application at CFC tutorial. It'll be great. Okay, guys, well, that's it. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time.